Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Hudgens with Dodd RV, located in Yorktown, Virginia. Family owned and operated since 1956. Today, we're looking at a brand new 2022 Grand Design Transcend Explorer 321BH. Bath and a half, L shaped bunks, uh, private door closing off the bunk area, single slide out, two entry doors, great floor plan. Uh, let's get started, take a look. Guys, remember watch all the way till the end of the video. I'll show you a clip with the slide in so you can see what you do and don't have access to. Always remember, give me a quick thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell. The bell will give you a notification every time I put a new camper on. So be the first one to see new floor plans, options, decors. Uh, so make sure you hit that bell. Also look down in the description. I'll have links to other videos if this is not quite the camper you're looking for. Um, also have the holding tank sizes, all your specs um, listed down below as well. So make sure you check those out. Shoot me a comment if you have any questions or if you're looking for a floor plan I have not yet posted. I'll do my best to put it on as quickly as I can for you. Thanks again for watching. Scott Hudgens, Dodd RV. Alright, as you enter in, you see the slide out. Hallway to the bunk area. Nice kitchen area. Wide open, nice light linoleum. Pass through the bathroom to the master bedroom. We will start in the bunk area on this one. Got a solid door that closes off your bunks. Kids are sleeping. Go to bed early. Keep their mess kind of separate. And behind that door, when you close it, you've got a nice closet. A little charging area, a nice little setup there. Opening the door up as you go in, two L shaped bunks. A little half ladder to get to the top. Uh, they've each got their own window, fire escape on the bottom. Uh, your windows have the blackout shades. The windows do open. They've got two air ducts in here, which is nice. You got a overhead vent, plenty of lighting. You've got a receptacle and charging area here. You've got a backer in the wall here where you can screw a, a TV mount, put a TV in here, cable connection up top. Down low, you've got plenty of deep drawers. You've got some open storage areas. You've got heat ducts, more storage. You've got a hanging area, so nice bunk area with the private door. But in addition to that, you've got a half bath. So they've got their own toilet, hang their towels, another roof vent with a fan, uh, so your exhaust, nice sink, good storage. So nice bathroom back here, again, closed off from everybody living area you got a receptacle your theater seats uh, cup holders storage your pull cords got your footrest it does recline again blackout shades the windows do open the theater seating is directly across from the TV you got your fury on stereo um, you do have USB auxiliary. The TV is on a swivel arm, so you can attach to the back easily if you're adding gaming. Um, or it does swivel so you can see it better from the dinette. Tons of storage. Uh, as you enter in, you got a shoe cubby hole down low, hanging. You got a little cubby area back here. Uh, your convenience area for your awning, your slide, check your holding tanks, uh, your outside lights, everything in one nice convenient area. You got a motion sensor light when you come in, which you can adjust. 
uh, your booth dinette. It does drop down and make a bed. So I'll show you a setup and breakdown of that. All right, so table down, there's your bed. You can store those pedestals underneath or in one of your doors. Um, setting it back up, you've got the choice of the fabric or the smooth side. Cushions out of your way. Then you can basically just lift the table. You're going to be off the ledge there and place the pedestal legs back underneath. And there's your table. Uh, one thing to note on the table, uh, one, the thickness of the table, but then also the supports underneath. You see a lot of the tables that get in on trade, you got a nice warped table, almost looks like a U-shaped table. Um, this table is not going to warp over time. You've got the doubled up wood. You've got the supports. So nice base. If you do make this into a bed a lot, um, that's a nice feature there. Nice uh, wood look. Uh, sides there. Little accents. Uh, good storage down low. Receptacle down low. Your kitchen area. Uh, so under the fridge you got a nice storage drawer the 12 volt fridge so a lot more space you do have the solar panel on the roof uh, so that will keep that battery charge running your refrigerator microwave exhaust for your range you do have a three burner range this acts as a splash guard for you LED lights Nice deep pots and pans drawer, nice oven. Drawers throughout, good spot for a trash can. Large stainless steel sink, extended spray head. Good amount of countertop space with receptacles, lighting. Again, another window that opens. The glass front cabinet doors. Your thermostat when you come in uh, to the between the bathroom and the living area. Again, solid door here. If you don't want to be staring at your bathroom, you got a door. Again, no heat ducts in the floor. It's a nice feature there. Foot flush toilet. Good storage in the bathroom. Another spot for trash can. Nice vanity. Uh, shower. You do have a surround. I'm um, 6'5. I am right up inside the skylight. So I got probably another inch. Got somebody taller than me. Uh, retractable shower door. Nice feature there. Reduces the spills. Um, it is a little touchy, so it will slam on you. Um, but it gives you good protection from the water coming out. If you don't like it, uh, you can do some shower curtain rings and hang your own curtain there. Got an exhaust, another door going into the bedroom. So if someone's in here sleeping, you can close them off from the bathroom. And if they're in their shower and you want to get around, you've got another door that you can make it to from the outside. 60 by 80 queen bed. Storage underneath with shocks. Uh, cubby holes on either side, receptacles, again, fire escape window, nice blackout shades, your TV backer for another TV in the bedroom, open storage up top, and your hanging area here. Second AC is non-ducted, uh, so you can kind of close off the bathroom, and that would take care of the bedroom bathroom pretty easily. Uh, if you're only 30 amp service at the campground, you've got the air ducts running from the living room AC that'll keep it cool for you. Got the door that closes off. So your brand new 2022 Grand Design Transcend Explorer 321BH, bath and a half. Bunkhouse, let's work our way outside. Take a look out there.
All right, moving to the outside, you see the Transcend logo, power tongue jack, that 321 model number right on the jack, two 20 pound LP bottles with a cover, spot for two batteries, it will come with one with a box. Uh, your pass-through storage has got motion sensor lighting, nice clean storage. Your docking area has got your battery disconnect, uh, water fill, cable and receptacles. You can feed everything right through the bottom here so you can keep this door shut. Um, you've got your um, Furion uh, charger controller here for your solar. I'll show you the roof on uh, the solar panel. 321 has got a dry weight of 7,706 pounds. Manual stabilizer jacks, check down in the link below. Um, I've got a video shows you operating uh, instructions, maintenance, etc. on that. So check it out. Um, you've also got black tank flush, your black and gray pull valves, nice deep slide out. Transcend Explorer logo on the side. Uh, you've got two black tank flushes because you have um, a second toilet in this, so a bath and a half model. We are looking at a 50 amp service, so here's that. Uh, moving around the tree here. You've got a factory installed ladder. We'll take a look at the roof. Up on the roof, you got your two ACs, your roof vents. Top of your slide out, your solar panel up front, TV antenna. Spare tire mounted on the bumper. You're also prepped for a backup camera. Uh, your spray port here, you can hook your hose uh, close to your outside kitchen. You can also spray off the steps with it. Uh, speaking of outside kitchen, you got your refrigerator, two burner range, that tees right off of your propane um, right here. Nice large um, compartment. Magnetic latch that holds that up for you. Full length power awning. You've got nice clean aluminum steps. Your main entry door, you got a large assist handle and your uh, model number right at the door. You got friction hinge doors. Stays exactly where you leave them. Nice black rims, and you're looking at 15 inch tires. Outside speakers, an LED light. You've got your exhaust for your range. Uh, moving farther down, you got a spot um, for TV to plug into and receptacle. Your door to the bedroom has got a large assist handle and aluminum steps as well. Same friction hinge. And then the other side of your pass through storage here. Again, a latch on either side in addition to the lock, keeping that door constantly flush, keeping the seal pressed, um, less chance of leakage. Your brand new 2022 Grand Design Transcend Explorer 321BH. Thanks again for watching. All right, as promised, slides in. You got full access to the refrigerator, your kitchen. From the main entry door, you're not getting into the bathroom, but you can go in through the bedroom door and you got full access to the bedroom, to the bathroom. Um, but for your main door, you could always go into the half bath if all you need to do is use the bathroom and you can get into the bunk area. So two entry doors gives you full access.